Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at my 2020 EDC Everyday Carry. Videos like this are fun because I enjoy the feedback that I get from the viewers. They tell me they like my system, they think it's horrible, or whatever the case. But more importantly, I like it when people share their EDC. And let's use this as a forum to throw ideas back and forth and hopefully we can all become better prepared. So let's start with my knife buried under here. Here is a Boker Kalashnikov Auto Blade. I like the knife. It's very small. It carries well, but I think it's too small. It's got a two and a half inch blade. And I, I landlord, that's one of the businesses that I have. And I find myself you know, using my, my pocket knife to, to cut out carpet, to even trim off little hedges branches off of bushes and so forth and i think that's too small so i checked out this knife i'm in the process of checking out this knife it's from a company called the ridge this is the summit knife it's got a titanium handle and a two and three quarters inch blade but it's very strong and it's got a heavy duty feel to it and what's interesting is that it doesn't have a liner lock it works like a liner lock but that's actually a frame lock if you can see that and the the frame is uses the same function as a liner lock but it shuts nice and easy it's a nice knife with a heavy duty clip on there so so far i'm happy with that and I'm, I'm thinking that's going to become my edc but i need to carry it and check it out just a little bit more uh my flashlight remains the same as my last edc video i think it was in 2018 it's a streamlight protac use a triple a battery not not the greatest in the world but not the worst and it's it's been with me for a while now so I do have confidence in it. Another cool thing is my key knife. I've had this for years. I use it more often than I ever thought I would. And I had a feeling I would. But a little over an inch long blade. But it does lock into place. And it unlocks by pushing in that button right there. Looks just like a key. Nobody even knows it's a knife. But good for utility purposes. My primary carry has not changed. It's a car P9 love this gun it's always been accurate and reliable for me it carries so well very thin it's got a three and a half inch barrel and night sights now i do think it's important to have night sights on the carry gun and these ones that i carry you have them especially for the primary carry but this has been very good for me i see no reason to change that however i had mentioned in the past that i also carry the FNS 9C on occasion when I go with a double stack mag more capacity I go with the FNS 9C but I'm changing that because I'm seeing that I can get even better capacity with a smaller and lighter gun which I do love this by the way I, I hold this gun in high regard I, I think that I've said it enough on this channel so that those who know have heard it from me but I also like this right here the Springfield Hellcat it in its current mag it's holding 13 plus one but you're looking at 14 rounds in this small little package with a three inch barrel i find that to be such a nice and easy carry that you know you increase the capacity and you can't go wrong i forgot to mention this extra carry mag pouch that i use with the car p9 and it will also work with the pm9 now i have the pm9 here because of those summer months i'm trying to hit all areas and all styles of dress and everything but the pm9 is a phenomenal gun also night sights and many people you'd be shocked how many people carry this or the cw9 and i have a holster for it and i also use a pocket holster for it on occasion but i know a lot of people are going to wonder what what is the holster of choice and it's multi holsters i've been using multi holsters for years you can see the label it's on all these multi holsters and i just i'm really comfortable with them They're, they they really carry well and over here's a cw9 as a backup and i have to admit on those summer months sometimes as a primary but a real cool backup is this right here it's a c camp lws 32 i really want the 380 model i think that would be an amazing backup gun but it's so small and so light and it does have a, a double action trigger that is hammer fired but it's it's been great for me and i got this holster when i saw them at shot show they they knew i had this lws they asked me if i wanted that holster and i said yeah i'd love to have that holster and it is really cool 
So I'm pretty happy with that. And then the last thing that I want to share here is my new wallet. This is also made by The Ridge. Now, my older wallet, I like these flat little wallets that sit in the front pocket. You can see that I put tape around it. You know, the, the cash strap was getting too loose. The money was falling out in my pocket and everything. I, I needed a new wallet. I wanted something, you know, like this. And you can see that I do like the carbon fiber look. But the Ridge wallet is really nice. It's, it has that RF ID blocking in there. Real tight clip there to hold the money in. And it holds up to 12 cards. I wouldn't put 12 cards in there. Maybe 10, maybe 8. But that's what I have in there now. And then you just push through here. And you take out the cards as you need them. So very cool system. I'm really happy with this system. What I want to know is... What is your system? What do you think of this system? And what ideas do you have? Now, I have other things in my vehicle, such as multi-tools and things like that, additional flashlights, spare mags, but this is on my person. I want to know what you think of it and share ideas with what you carry. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.